How's it going guys? Steve from the Toy Table here. Welcome back. Just uh, kind of doing a little update video on the Toy Table Invitational. We are going to be finishing it. I've just kind of run into a few snags this week. It has been just about a week. I guess a week since I've done my last police chase there. And we just kind of haven't had a whole lot of time and some things going on. And what little time I have had, I've been trying to really tweak this uh, Eliminator uh, track that I alluded to. Here is the portion of Lombard Street. Um, originally I thought I could have like a double wiggle, um, dual lanes. I've just, anyways, to make it more look like Lombard Street for Scorpio Loaf Smith from San Francisco. It just didn't really work out. I couldn't, ah, just... You, you know how it is when you're trying to make uh, tracks. It just hasn't been working. So i got to figure something out there. And also, just I, I, I've just been really, really busy with different things. We got a new real car gifted to us. And we had to get it safetyed. And then kind of safetyed again. And then they didn't put the car back together. And my mom, she's still not doing so good. So just doing various things with that. Then also, for my police chases, I'm learning that I need to um, definitely score it a whole bunch better. It's okay for the first round there where I put all cars but 33 and 8, because then you know they all get 25 points there. But then every round after that, i really got to write down which cars are left at the top. And then also with the camera, really still it so that if I do miss one, um, I can go kind of go back and watch and see if that car is actually in fact in the lineup for the second or further round and then here that's where I kind of messed up all the cars except four because when I scored it the last time I basically took the winner and I scored it all backwards and like I scored it that way um, and that was a whole lot easier to get it done saying that I think I got most of them right definitely got the last few rounds right there so the bigger points, but few other few of the other scores, I definitely just gave them 100 points. Um, and then some of the other scores that only got 0 points or 25 points, I made sure of uh, that. So if you think your score is in, incorrect in the comments in this video, all the up-to-date scores will be in the comments. Um, but I'll just give you a quick little top 8 here. And we'll look at the cars as they are and to see your competition. Oh, another thing. Uh, Hippie Wild Child, guess what showed up in the laundry? It could have been me or while well, I was sitting on top of the washer. So I guess either this did go through the washer or not. But it uh, seems to be rolling okay. So maybe in the comments, let me know whether you want your car or your backup car in there. But we did find the car. They all show up eventually. Anyways, riding in the white bone shaker, the number 37 car, driven by Weapon X-Wing. He's got a whopping 925 points. So, in my kind of scoring and kind of making up these events, I was really hoping that the first round uh, points where they either got 40 for the loop and then you know five points for every kind of foot after that I was really hoping that was going to make a difference and so far it slightly has because here you have um, next level toys driving the 22 car the retroactive and he's got 825 points and I don't think he got any points off round one um, maybe next year I'll have electronic scoring and we'll have you know, or like, you know, an actual, I'll actually learn how to do a spreadsheet and all that. Anyways, tie, we got a tie for third and fourth between Scorpio Lovesmith and, like, uh, he's in the one, number one Willie's car. And Power Pipes is driven by Mr. Moms. You guys each have 795 points. And then we got, uh, in fifth. 775 points with Gary's Hot Wheels collection. And he's in the four car carbide. And I realized I wanted to say at the beginning of this video, 
we are going to get to a little bit of a haul. I have been able to buy some cars, and I got some thrifty Thursday stuff. Normally I do it on Thursday, but since this is kind of wrapping up, I'm going to give a little channel update as well. Anyways, I always lose track of my thought. <laughs> the number 20 car. No, you're not next. Number 34 is Diesel Boy, and that's stop motion videos. And he's got 750, so he's not too far off if he can win the next event. And Hot Wheel Racer Mike, he's got 31. And that's Paradox. Then now, in eighth, is SGXIX with 700 points. Once again, thanks a lot, guys, for joining the fun and playing at the toy table um, to kind of keep the good vibes going. Um, if you're new to the channel or kind of have watched the channel before, just previous to this whole big invitational, I did um, a Hot Wheels racing season where I divided all the cars into colors and kind of raced them into each of the top tens. And then every show or every telecast or whatever you want to call it, every YouTube video we did, we would race three or four um, teams against each other and collect points and do a whole big standings. So now that I have everybody kind of owning a car or a name on a car and a number on a car, I'm going to race them all into, or at least give them tryouts to see whether they're going to make um, one of the current colored teams. I know, for example, Orange could definitely use the help. They didn't have such a good year, so hopefully the Bone Shaker can get on the team and really, really rack up some points. And Purple and Teal, they're, hope they're going to get some help this year. Got a whole bunch of carbides, probably going to end up on the purple team. They're a weak team. And teal cars, they're just tough to find. So, got a couple teal cars in this lineup. And we'll see if you guys can make a team. Then after that, in June, um, I'm going to do... In, in June, this this next event, it doesn't really take a lot, a lot of videos. But uh, I erase all my thrift store finds. And I'll quickly give you a glance at that, what is waiting for us to race. All these here have been shown to you kind of one bag at a time, two, three bags at a time in a weekly series called Thrift Store, Thrift Store Thursdays. So if you're new again, go back and peruse. So what I do is I race each kind of bag together and I bring a friend along and we. No, I haven't seen any of these race at all. Good ones, bad ones, we race them all, and we bet quarters on them. And if uh, there's four cars we each get it wrong, then the quarter carries over to the next round and kind of a, in a skins format. So in saying that, I do have a little bag, a couple little bags of cars here. I bought these a few weeks ago, so I really have no idea anymore what I was after. We'll take a quick look. And it looks like I was after this guy here. And let's take a look at what it is. I realize this is Wednesday, but uh, I really just wanted to get a video out. And, uh, yeah, get back to YouTube. It's been a long week or a week off. And then, even then, maybe I'll have this one race this week. Maybe we'll pull this one. It's the F, F Racer, especially since uh, this one looks like it's been bent. So we got an F Racer, um, the Indy 500, coming up this weekend, I do believe, or next weekend. Memorial Day is coming up. Okay, the chase piece out of this one, I think it was after this guy here. And what is he? What's this one called? Oh, it's the Heavy Cuda. Orange. Burnt orange. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't have too many of these muscle style cars, or the Cuda anyways. And then another all metal Cobra. It doesn't say Cobra, but Cobra style anyways. And uh, that's the Heavy for sure. And, oh, it definitely likes to turn but it's heavy that'd be interesting to see you go down the big big wide track 
and just blow out some cars, blow them up. Okay, and then we got a Zodic, kind of a semi favorite of a fantasy casting for some people. It's gonna kind of McLaren look to it, I think. Ferrari square front, and they usually roll pretty good, roll, roll straight. So we got a Zodic in the bag, and then last but not least, we got a battle spec. I haven't seen one of these ever. And that's a pretty smooth roller. It rolls pretty straight. Okay, so be sure to check those out next month. See whether they, which one of those five is gonna take the crown. All right, we got a big 19. We're into the next bag now. I'm all stuffed up after that sneeze. Okay, we got a big F-150 racer. Or, or not racer Ford truck this one's probably obviously too big for the track they're all wanting to roll off to the left today then of course once, once all these get raced they will be put into their general population of cars and we'll attempt to put them onto a team we'll race the leader we'll, we'll run season number three of the toy table toy table racing league hopefully with a few new faces on the team new cars okay i know i have this one in the package i haven't opened it i think i got a couple of them and uh i should know what it is but it doesn't say on the bottom oh it's pro stock firebird that's it it's metal on metal yeah, it's not too bad Rolls pretty good. So one of the chase pieces out of this one here is yeah, it's a Continental 64 Continental Flames. It's not bad. One thing I don't really like about them is just how I just notice it really on this one, like the car is really wide and the wheels are just so narrow. Kind of looks funny to me. Unless that's supposed to be how it's supposed to be. But it's a low rider, and there is no shocks. There is no gift. Okay. Last but not least, never turned down one of these style wheels in this na neighborhood. It's a faster than ever fast fish, and it's a uh, kind of gold, I guess. What color is that? Green, this can't be color. I don't know, yellow. And it races nice. All right, guys. There is some thrift store finds. Two bags. What else have I got here? It's been so long since I've done a video. Oh, I guess I got some more cars I can show you. Picked up a couple more three packs here uh, this past week. I'm always out for. Uh, different colors of cars, as I alluded to. So this one here, we're looking for that one. And you know what? I it's an Eddie. No, I, I it's a Maverick. It's a Ford Maverick. But uh, my father-in-law, Jackie Stewart, he saw this and he he gooed and nod over that one. And then we got the Volkswagen Caddy and Corvette there. So. That'd be kind of cool, because he really liked that one. Ken likes green ones, and I don't mind Corvettes, so that'd be a neat race to do down the road when we're all here and present. And got another one of these. It's got the GTO. I don't think I showed you this one, but it's been sitting over there on the table for quite a while. Got it. Uh, anyways, a couple GTOs, which I love. And then Mustang, Pokemon Tom. This came actually in our 10 pack that the Frugal Diecaster sent us, and I think we got a couple others. But I uh, haven't raced it yet, I'm not sure how it does, but it's that Ford Focus. And then here, uh, Paul, he said it, he said what this one was, but then there's your Cuda. What else? Oh, uh, here in Canada, we got a store called Canadian Tire. It's kind of like a. 
big huge mechanics and they got rakes, they got shovels, they got kitchen appliances. They just don't really sell any lumber or really really heavy heavy duty tools. But they, they got everything else, including the odd time, some matchbox. And this is just recently bought. And it's got 2015 on the back there. And I was quite happy to find this one. It doesn't have a title on it, but it should be titled Totally Awesome. Because it's got a Corvette there. You can see the actual back part of it. It's nicely painted. Nice little portion there. It's got a Lotus. And uh, G Ford GT, and then we got a, a Cobra. Like what a good five pack. There. They all look like they can roll. Anyways, guys, thanks again. Um, I think Ken and I, I'm pretty busy this afternoon, so this is just kind of an update. Hopefully, tonight, today, I can kind of come up with something decent or kind of fun little setup using all the elements that these cars were tested uh, all your cars but if not definitely tomorrow Ken and I were uh, both here and off off day anyways maybe in the in the comments below let me know what you'd want to see for the last race any of the competitions and stuff that uh, I've done or any kind of suggestions maybe we'll put it in anyways for now Thanks again for watching the toy table. I know it's kind of long and winded, but I uh, really appreciate your viewership. And we'll get back in the booth here together, Ken and I, and get back to making some good videos. Anyways, thanks again. Take care, guys.